Soil type, irrigation, and countless other factors can play a role in the type of yield you end up getting with your crops. Now researchers are testing to see if the space between rows can impact that as well as the emergence of weeds. University of Nebraska researchers at the recent Palmer Amaranth Management Field Day gave Market Journal a breakdown of their findings and what it could mean for you. So the typical row spacing for soybean in the United States is like 30 inch. Um, and most of the growers, they would like to go with that because they already have the equipments for 30 inch. They can spray the uh, weeds with, during post application uh, in the 30 inch row spacing. We do have some research going on which says uh, narrow row spacing is really good if we talk about uh, weed suppression. In our field day, uh, we had a project looking at effect of row spacing and different herbicide programs on glyphosate resistant palmer amaranth control. And growers were pretty excited with that project because there are some studies where they uh, compare narrow row with uh, normal row spacing for like soybean yield or canopy cover. But in our particular project, we were checking the weed control using a bunch of different herbicide programs in narrow row versus uh, normal row spacing. So there farmers can like visually compare if they have a pretty good herbicide program in normal row spacing, what if they spray same herbicide in uh, narrow row. So uh, what we have seen, there was a difference. But since this is the first year of the study, we can't actually confidently or stat statistically say that, yes, there is a difference between narrow and a uh, normal row spacing. So for that, we might need to analyze some results. Um, but we will have something ready for next year, for next field day. There are some growers, they are like really proactive. They are also, also doing 7.5 inch spacing, uh, just drilling soybean seed. And they think it's really good for them because the canopy, the soybean canopy cover really fast. And weeds like palmer amaranth and especially water hemp, they show less emergence when the canopy is closed. Compared to even if you check these plots, uh, many growers, they, they actually uh, agree with us. In 30 inch row spacing, which is like normal row spacing, even though we have very good herbicide program, palmer amaranth is emerging late right now because most of the post herbicides were done like two, three weeks before. Even if they have some residual activity, it's gone. So there's another flush of palmer amaranth coming. But if we compare the same herbicide program in narrow spacing, I don't think there's much late season emergence. So that could be something that growers can um, adopt uh, in coming years. I know it's like cost them a lot, but looking at weeds like palmer amaranth, especially when it's resistant to like atrazine, glyphosate. Uh, 10 miles away, we also have uh, a weed resistant to HPPDs and atrazine. So I think this is the, one of the best technology they can adopt. There is a, quite a bit of research already done in different universities. They have actually seen um, more yield in case of narrow row spacing, even though they use the same seed rate as like normal row spacing, like per acre seed rate is the same. Um, they have seen, even though like the density, the density of soybean plants is less in narrow spacing, um, they have seen more branches in soybean plants and more yield, partially because of the canopy closure and less weed suppression. But I believe it also depends what kind of weed species you have, how much weed pressure you have there. Uh, so we, had, we can't just rely on just one technology and using just one herbicide, even though we tank mix but we still need to apply more integrated approaches. Uh, so this is all what we had in this project in this field day. And I'm sure many growers, they had some really good suggestion about this project and they think it's like a really good technology they can use next time. It depends on area, what kind of area or what kind of soil or irrigation, everything. It depends on most many factors. But overall, I would say narrow spacing would have more yield compared to, uh, compared to a normal row spacing, which is like 30 inch.